Hello everyone, it's Luke here giving you a tutorial on setting up LAN play for your Nintendo Switch to play Pokemon Sword and Shield over LAN play. A few things that you'll need. You'll need a PC, Lap or Mac. That will change what programs you need to download and that will be in the description. This whole set of instructions will also be in the description. You'll need that device to be connected to the same internet source as your Nintendo Switch, which does not need to be hacked. That can be either wired or a wireless connection. Alright, so in this landplay.com uh, website, I've got it in install at the moment. You can also use this to check what you need to install. Then you want to go to home. This is where you'll select what server you're going to connect to and this kind of works like a VPN you're both basically meeting up in a third party server to basically emulate like you're in the same location so you can do things locally what you're going to look for is you're going to look for how many people are on the server you want to use and the combined ping so if I'm looking right now I'm going to go to this joinsg.net it's got a reasonable ping, only one idle user on there. I'm not going to pick something like this where there's a bunch of people using it. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to run my LAN play program as administrator, which I'm not going to have up on the screen just yet. It'll be up now. When it opens up, it looks like this. You're going to paste what you copied from the LAN play website in there. Press enter. Don't worry about these fail max. Now I'm going to go into my Nintendo Switch. This Wi-Fi E65B, that's the internet source for my PC. I'm going to change those settings. I've already got mine set up, so everything's to manual. A couple of things, your IP address needs to be 10.13.something something. Those somethings can be anywhere from 1 to 255. They can't be who you're trying to connect to. They can't be the same as the person you're trying to connect to. It has to be different. It also can't be the same as your gateway. But anything else is fine. Your subnet mask has to be the same. So 255.255.00. Your DNS has to be the same as this. I think it does work if you switch them the other way around as well, but I haven't tested that. Then you're going to save it. You're going to connect to this network, and as that connects, I'm going to show you my LAN play has registered that I've connected. Okay, next I'm going to open up my game. Just ignore the custom skin there. I am in CFW, uh, CFW at the moment. It will register that um, your downloadable content might not be playable. Just ignore that. It works just fine. It'll just take a moment to load here. And then I'll show you how to connect to LAN play in your game. So there are different things that you'll do depending on whether you want to connect for a trade or connect for a battle. So if I'm connecting for a trade... I'm going to go into my options menu. Menu. I'm going to press L plus R and I'm going to use L3 which is just clicking in your left analog stick. It'll tell you booting up LAN mode. It's quite quick. Sometimes it takes a bit longer. You'll get this white screen. If you're connecting to a trade, I recommend standing in a Pokemon Center. It seems to connect a lot quicker. I'm going to press Y. Don't worry about connecting to the internet. Link trade. Start trading and you're good to go searching for a trade. I'm not going to trade with someone right now. If you're doing this for a land play battle, which might be for a draft league or something, or a tournament where you don't want a timer, I'm going to go to verse. I'm going to go to live competition. Now, if you're, one of you needs to host a live competition, so I'll show you that end. Check competition, current competition regulations. I've already got one set up, which I'm going to delete. Alright, host live competition, create competition guidelines. You can do a lot here, I find it really interesting. You can set up your regulations here. 
but what is really good is your time limit. So you can select your time limit. So I like using the your time 10 minutes, total time, no limitations, because it just gives you a lot more moves where most battles just end in, uh, you know, the timer running out. Once you've done that, now in all of these settings, it's all the same thing. So watch battles, play battles, whatever. What you'll need to do is hold in again, the left, the L button, the right, the R button, which is the right bumper. Hold in the left analog stick. This might take about 10 seconds. There you go. It turns to watch a battle in land mode. Just like if you're going for battle, it would say battle in land mode. That's pretty much it. I'll do a written description below as well and links to all the downloads you need. I'll also give you a link to my Discord where you can use my Jenning bots and my Pokemon group where I give out a lot of giveaways and my page which I do a lot of live streams. Thank you very much. If you want more tutorials or anything, feel free to describe.